So, hey guys, Chelsea here. I thought I'd talk a bit about level 5 Smoker of the Grand Voyage because now I uploaded a team for level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4. And if I wanted to, I could upload a level 5 video, but I'm not doing it right now because there is only one team that exists and I don't like to just piggyback of others in general like well I did it for the last or for the Arlong one with the Nami because nobody in like the Western speaking YouTube community had uploaded it by then so I did it for that. But now like Toadscast made a video for example so no reason for me to do it if Toadscast made one. But I still want to talk about it and first let's go through the disappointment of this Grand Voyage because it is yet another uh, Grand Voyage of the likes of like Local Sea Monster on debut, like Buggy on debut or uh, Arlong on debut, like it's a super restrictive Grand Voyage with Seemingly very little options for team building, still early days, so we shouldn't totally rule it out, like, I'm not giving up totally uh, yet. I know I have chat members who try things, we know we have Subconsi and his gang who will definitely try and figure stuff out as well, and others. But for now, this is what it looks like, and as you see, I got the team fully maxed out and what I really dislike with this Grand Voyage is the same thing with Arlong like it's not just that they want you to use specific units to really enforce the use of these units they force very specific support required and usually I love support support are great but not when they use them to really force certain units and not allow future options like for Arlong, for example, we have like Law needing a specific support remove attack down final stage. Stuff like that, that or the Rebecca needing the Lucy support to resist special reverse, like they need, didn't need to do that. Like they will still be required right now. Now they just make it even harder to replace units in the future. Like in this Grand Voyage, like we have three or four examples, like uh, Luffy with the Eva support to remove the po random poison and poison orbs. As uh, Chopper with the Nami just to remove one ton of damage threshold. Like that didn't need to exist. Chopper will still be optimal right now. Or this random bonus support. Like it's not the worst one, but like let's do one turn of recovery or barrier just to force the support. Like why? It doesn't make any sense to me. And we also have Cracker here. And to be fair, the self support is also required right now because the damage is incredibly tight. Otherwise, I think it's cool that they managed to make a Grand Voyage where you actually need to use two of this incredibly bad Luffy. Like, it's a quite a creative achievement in that way. I just wish it was more fun at level 5, but I will say that I think that uh, all the other levels are pretty fun and have potential like going forward every time we get a new legend that resists blow away for example, we always have this Grand Voyage to showcase them, stuff like that makes me pretty happy and there's still a lot of teams that want to do stuff like trying Capone Crew Captain against like level 2, stuff like that. I'm sure there's a lot more level 3 and level 4 stuff we can do too. So my main focus will be on them as well as theorizing with others about is there even anything we can do for level 5. But yeah, they really like leave no options as I said, like stage 1 of this Grand Voyage is insane. Like you, you literally need to use 4 special stage 1. And that barely kills, like it's insane. And they really do a nice job of forcing this Luffy there because of his reduced CD at the start. And you can use him 
to get a big attack boost also kill two mobs and if you don't kill them you also don't have enough damage and also together with Sanji to extend those attack boosts to next stage and also just to make doors matching like yeah they really do a good job of making this Luffy really required and not just required you actually need two of him which I find pretty insane and then of course the Luffy's are blown away which is actually a good thing for the intended team because otherwise you'd get bind and the spear now you can bypass that which is incredibly niche but they found a way and they also managed to force the katakuri by doing this and of course they have to make the cracker support basically required to remove some random chain debuffs like it's just done but yeah despite having all these investments in the team I still can't beat this because of the other bad thing Banner are doing is not just that they are forcing specific units that they are forcing specific support on those units they are also forcing super tight damage to really force you to not just level 150 units but even limit break expand them like uh, I didn't really have to invest too much in my team like I'd already given Katakuri a key, he was already level 150. Same with Bawaki, level 150, I was done with her. I was also done with Chopper, I don't remember why a level 150 Chopper, but I did. Uh, Sanji was close to level 150 and didn't have a key, so I keyed him, leveled him up. Uh, Luffy was done, not his 6 plus, but I just evolved the 6 star to 6 plus. Didn't have a key, so I invested in a key preemptively, like after all. We have a Grand Voyage for both the 6 plus and 6 star now, I feel like he will probably see some use, so a key is pretty worth it. But yeah, despite this, I'm not even close to beating the content, and this is due to the ships. Because they want to force the Liberal Hand, which honestly is a good ship. It's a 1.92 times attack boosting ship if you only run Psy. My main problem right off the bat is that it's very rarely you will run Monosai, especially if you care about damage. And if you don't run Monosai, it's a 1.6 times attack team, which is significantly worse, like the standard nowadays is 1.65. So that's one reason why I'm pretty hesitant to upgrading this ship. Another thing I don't like is that... Uh, you, they buff the HP to 1.4 times, which is great for this Grand Voyage, but I like to have a few ships without high HP for certain scenarios. And yeah, I just think it's a boring ship in general. Like, sure, there is Bind, but I have other ships that does that. One cool thing, though, is that it is a minus 2 CD ship for Psy. And minus one for other colors, so it's actually a really good size ship, and there aren't many great size ships otherwise. So I might do it after all, but I'm still a bit interested in are there other options than the him? And like, if I wait a bit, maybe we get a buffed whale sharks that could be amazing, even better, buffed oro, like. Imagine doing Liberal Hin and in two months, Oro gets its ship buff and becomes absolutely amazing. Like, it's already still one of the best ships and it hasn't gone a buff yet. I can easily see that a buff of Oro being enough. So that will be something to wait for. And if we talk existing ships, uh, I had at least two fun considerations. If we start with the meme options, if I can even find it. Here, Baratier, like it's worthless here, but if you buff it, it becomes a 1.5 times attack ship and turns tandem orbs to Semla. And if you have Semla recover, you get like 1.2 times extra attack, so like one, a bit over 1.7 times attack, I think it is, which is pretty dope. I think it might be enough damage for that stage one. But the problem is that you won't really keep the Semlorbs for the rest of the run and the damage is tight for the entire run. 
Otherwise, I think this is one of the coolest ship upgrades we've got, and I would love an excuse to upgrade it, but I don't think this is it. Uh, another option is the Arc Maxim, which is pretty dope now, like a 1.75 times attack ship for Psy and Quick. It's a bit more versatile, also has the seed reduction, also reduced paralysis. So some cool options, but I don't really think this, yeah, I, I'm not really sure this is a better investment in general but than him, so, and also not sure that 1.75 times attack is enough. But then this video, let me just showcase the tightness here. Let's bring uh, my best ship I have for this team right now, which is 1.65 times attack, and let's see how much damage we can do stage one because we get blocked already at stage one with the intended team with basically max investment like i have plus 200 attack cc like i can't get higher enough higher attack from the units only way i can increase my attack at this point is the ship i use so yeah let's just try it out i'm sure you've seen how the team works Otherwise, this ship has some decent potential for level 4. Uh, one sad thing with this ship is that if you stall for the attack boost, the ore boost you get ran, runs out exactly when you can use uh, the ship special, so that does ruin it a bit. Uh, I'm a bit confused here. Shouldn't the captain also be buying that? Can I just use Luffy first and get a higher attack boost? I thought the captain got final. I'm confused. Uh, let's see about the damage is with this. I feel very confused right now. Like, am I just misremembering, or do I use? Did I use Sunny's attack boost first? Uh, but yeah, let's see the damage here because now I get more damage than when I did, when I did my other run, since I could use Luffy first. Oh, I see that this guy is alive. Eh, oh well, let's see if we can kill Buggy at least. I'm surprised I didn't kill him in one gear 5 special. That should usually be enough. Anyway, let's just see the damage I do to Buggy. Not sure exactly what the optimal path order is. So I could kill it now, but... In this case, the mob is alive, which is obviously not good, since now we have to stall a turn, basically. And now the attack boost will run out, but does that even matter? I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I guess we have the stalling here won't be good. Anyway, as you see... No matter what I do with the current setup, I don't do enough damage. I need a better ship. So, the question is, will I do it? Like, I honestly don't feel a rush to do it, especially since we don't get any good rewards or anything. So I'll probably wait a bit. Like, there might be new discoveries, for example, that allows a new team to beat it, but it might require a new ship. Kind of what happened to Grand Voyage Luffy 2, the all on Grand Voyage, where suddenly we had the Gurma ship and we had the buffed Dreadnought. I can never find a Dreadnought. There it is. Like those got big buffs that allowed a lot of new teams, like the intended team for that Grand Voyage was Moby Dick, and I feel bad for anyone who invested in this ship, like it's not. Ah, great investment, but I made some bad investment in ships as well, so it is what it is. But yeah, I think that's enough talking about level 5 smoker. Let's see if I make any teams for it, but for now my focus will be on the other levels. And if you have any requests regarding this Grand Voyage, let me know and I'll see what I can do. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.